Hey everyone, welcome back to Tabletop X S S Tabletop Escapades. X X X. Tabletop X X X Capades. Send in your fan art to AskEasyAllies at gmail.com. We have everyone here today, which is pretty exciting. Uh, welcome back, Ian. Hey. Happy to have you. Thanks. And your Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Always an blast. asset. What happened last the week? The most important asset. Yeah. What happened last we week? We just made a bunch of weird jokes. Oh. Yeah. yeah <laughs> basically, we did. basically. I, uh, it's funny because I was uh, listening to the episode while I was thinking about this one and preparing. And uh, <laughs> I was like, wow, that was a really fun episode. Not a lot happened, uh, but that was fun. Like, I had a good time listening to it. Mm hmm. So uh, we'll see if it's more productive today or if we just laugh. One of the two things will happen, or maybe both. Uh, to give you guys a rundown, it is pretty complicated. Um, so they are in a dungeon right now that is, the rooms are very specifically separated. Kata, Villian, Zemnar, and Palvin are all in the room where the Tataka was that was wearing very strange clothes. Moof held the crank and uh, it opened and they smashed it collectively with their hammers. They're still in that room. And the reason they're still in that room is there is a hallway leading to the north. Um, and in that hallway, there were a bunch of spores and gas. Therese blasted these spores with her Eldritch Blast, um, but the gas is still lingering in the hallway. To kind of circumvent this, Doros and Therese used a dimension door to teleport across through, just bypassing the hallway into the next room. There are a bunch of gems. Uh, the gems are the same size and shape and color, red and blue, of the ones that were in the demi -Lich. And those gems are curious things. Um, Pomper and Moof, uh, there was this strange kind of sentry standing there, uh, not really responding to the group, but had something to say, almost like a living message. And they opened its <laughs> mouth and they crawled into it and they are they are going through it. Oh yeah, it said that this was the palace of Lingua and we yes. weren't worthy. <laughs> yeah, Lingua seems to be a, a strange and conflicting <laughs> presence in this place. But uh, Moof and Pomper are crawling through the tunnel. Therese did use the staff uh, that she had and uh, to, to hold open the pathway so Pomper and Moof could get back if they wanted to or if the other party members wanted to follow them. I realize that this was a very hefty explanation, but it's been a couple of weeks since we've been involved in the story. It helped so, me. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to too. give you a, a more I'm thorough background of what was going on. But uh, we are ready to go. We have three different parties at the moment. Uh, <laughs> the group likes to split up. And we're kind of at a, at a point where we are splitting up very much. However, I want to get started with Therese and Doros today. Oh, right. Okay. Um, there's something I want to tell you guys that is happening, oh. uh, something that is concerning. For a change? Yeah. You hear <laughs> kind of a very, like, high-pitched hum, like a, like a ring oh. almost, like a very high-frequency ring. And you hear a, a plop on the ground. And you notice that the gems, a couple of gems, have spilled out of the bag of holding mm. uh, and have landed on the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> Is there any like, weird creatures in that bag? Uh, Close your bag! <laughs> well, yeah, I, well... I close it every time I use it. I look down and I go, well, that's not normal. Um, uh, the gems, when you, when you actually do inspect it, you notice that the gems have burned some small holes through the bag of holes. No! I, I go, I say, Doros, uh-uh. And I start taking the gems back out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, stones in Temple of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I start taking all of them Give out. me the stones! I yeah. say, Doros, you can carry these damn things. There cannot be holes in the bag of holding. Yeah, I need the bag of holding. Everyone feels this. Uh, all, all, all parties. The... The entire place shakes pretty violently. Um, and you feel disoriented. Yeah. And you look around and you're not sure what exactly happened, but things feel slightly different. Whoa. Uh, you notice that when you take the gems out of the bag, Therese, out of the bag of holding, that there is a door to your right and that the gems are very, very slowly kind of flipping over almost like coins and moving in the direction to the door. <laughs> Is it a right. new door that wasn't there before? Uh, <laughs> it, is, it, is a, 
It's a door that was there before. Okay, this okay. door, this door existed. But I just the direction didn't know if the shake was like something changing or. Yeah, it's. I actually think it's important for here to be more explicit as opposed to mysterious. But for practical purposes, I've shifted the layout of the dungeon just a little bit. Okay. Just so you know. So the door is on your right. The walls are moving. Um. So have I taken all the gems out successfully? Because I'm going to keep doing that until I'm done doing that. <laughs> I care about that bag. When you, when you look into the bag, can I have you make a perception check? Gladly. I still have foresight. That would be like a 30-something. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's seen to the future. <laughs> uh, as you're rummaging through the bag, you don't experience any pain, but you feel a little bit of warmth in the bag. And it looks like the gems have slightly melted the edges and parts of other items in the bag. Oh, God, stop it. The sweets. I speed up. Those are in the bag of multiplication. Okay, luckily. thank God. So I speed up. What is <laughs> what is in the bag of holding right now? Um, so like a dead body in there? A lot of money, mm -hmm. but there's even more money in the bag of multiplication. Okay. Uh, probably some, like, nightingale armor. Um... <laughs> some armor. daggers, a couple of swords, okay. some hand crossbows. <laughs> you know, just like all my crap. Yeah, <laughs> just a bunch of junk. Just a bunch of trash. With ge gem goo on it now. With gem goo on it. Gem goo. Jerice! <gasps> Elf, what, I what, is, what is happening? <laughs> why, why are you acting so panicked? It's wrecking my bag, Doros. <laughs> I need the this bag. These, these gems there. They're alive. Yeah, one of them became a skull a while ago. Infinity stones. <laughs> There's not a pile of infinity stones. <laughs> There's just like 40 <laughs> of them. Yet. <laughs> that you we, know of. <laughs> we need to destroy these. Perhaps we should... Hmm. I don't... I don't have any weapons strong enough to... to crush them. Perhaps your magic could make them disappear. I could try. I worry about their power. If we cannot figure out a way to harness it ourselves. Um, step one, I'll blast four of them with Eldritch Blast to see if it works. Okay. Therese, what do you see in there? Are the stones. Therese, what do you see? <laughs> the stone. Come in. Break this lock. Come in here. I mean, we're scared of the gas. Yeah, I blasted <laughs> the gas. It's fine. Therese, can I have you make a dexterity saving throw? That yeah, looks spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 12. <laughs> Dexterity? Yes. 12. Therese, um, you blast four times uh, one of the gems that is on the ground, and the Eldritch Blast actually ricochet <laughs> off the gems <laughs> and return back to you, and one of them manages to hit you. Oh. So, okay. Roll for damage. Yeah. Um, refresher, I think it's a D10 plus my charisma. Are these like baseball sized? Is that what I should be imagining? They're actually smaller than that. Oh, okay. Um, like, like, in terms of width, about the size of a silver dollar. Hmm. Oh, okay. I so take you can small. hold them in your hand pretty yeah. I take 15 damage. Nice. Okay. Is the door still open? The dimensional door? Uh, it's not. It's. I wish it wasn't called that because it's actually just teleport. Can we go through it? It's not a door. Or it whatever. just teleports to us. Oh, okay, so we it's can't not, just it doesn't walk through open it. A thing, gotcha. It's just a teleport. Well, that sucks. Yeah. What's that character called in Apex Legends? Wraith. Wraith. It'd be cool to have Wraith. It's like yeah. It's not like Portal. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. At least I mean I, I mean, don't we think do. it is. Um, Wraith leaves the portal behind. It's just she Therese. Leaves the portal. I mean yeah. Aesthetically, it's very simple. Why can't you be more like Wraith? <laughs> <laughs> Upgraded version. <laughs> I would like to cut to Pomper and Moof, who are crawling through the tunnel and find themselves in a, in a very weird situation. <laughs> Is the ground squishy? Yeah, so I... Yeah. So squishy. Describing the, the ground and everything that's surrounding you is actually pretty important here. Oh, okay. So it's very soft, mm -hmm. but it's, it's like constricting. So... Mm -hmm. As you're moving through it, you feel it kind of like wrap around your your body, but you are you are able to with enough effort crawl through it. Oh, uh, this is a small tunnel. Gross. It's a it's a small but elastic tunnel. So, 
Yeah, it, imagine Small, like you elastic. swallowed something way bigger than you were ever intending to swallow. Like a big old snake. Yeah. Uh, you're, uh, you're just, yeah. It's, it's very much. Not swallowing a snake, but so like they're a like, snake. they're just yeah. crawling through some like lower intestines. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. I didn't make him do it. Get out. <laughs> Get out. What are you doing? Um, it also, was a very perplexing moment. Everything about the tunnel is obviously very wet. Uh, and it smells foul. <laughs> Rank. Ben, make it smell good, dude. <laughs> Give a break. No. <laughs> make it smell good in there. Make it smell worse. <laughs> How's the light? You want to smell good? You got to put in the effort. Can they, <laughs> can, they, <laughs> can they see in there? Is it super dark? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pitch black. Oh, no. Yeah. Good heavens. We're just crawling? Just crawling. Yeah, oh, we're just you crawling. You tell me. Into the abyss? Yeah, I'm just, I keep crawling. Okay. <laughs> Palmer just voluntarily gets himself eaten. So, <laughs> Moof is behind you, and he's trying to, to to stick as close as possible. I'm actually going to make a check for Moof. Okay. It's going to get separated, dude. Oh, no. Okay, I Moof rolled a not. one. Oh! oh he just uh, Digested. Yeah. I should use the the heavier dice. All right. The uh, loaded one. Use the, the loaded one. The one will land even harder, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Like, the way that I picture it is that you're crawling, and so it's, like, really hard for you to look back yeah. and see move. Okay? You're just kind of both crawling forward. Uh, you hear a... <laughs> uh, and it's pretty obvious that Moof has lost his lunch directly behind you. <laughs> Moof, you all right? <laughs> Never better. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on to my leg, all right? Don't get separated. <laughs> you're you your tail. tail. Hang on to my tail. <laughs> Hang on to my forget. leg. I forget it when it's actually important. I <laughs> but I use it when it is so yeah. ridiculous. Here's this new weapon. Can I hold it with my tail? <laughs> hold on to my leg. <laughs> hold on to my leg. Uh, he, you, you kind of hear a, a, a hand searching. He goes, I can't even find your gross tail. you have any way to light this place up? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, uh, there's there's bound know. to be light on the other end. Just keep going. Uh, you you hear some more hand tapping, and he does eventually find your tail, and nice. you feel his his clawed hand wrap around your tail. Cool. Is there right, vomit on. on Moof's hands? Unclear at this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep crawling. All we can do is keep pressing on. Okay, so you keep crawling. At this point, in total, you know, minusing the, the vomit and the, the comedy of the situation, uh, you've been crawling for maybe two minutes, let's okay. say. Not bad. Um, and you get pretty far. Um, can I have you make a perception check, please? Nice. Uh, 16 plus? Just keep 17. that book open. There's no space. It's a 20. There's plenty of space. <coughs> I like having... 20. This area. <laughs> I get it. Open. I like to move my hands a lot. Look at it's a 20, Ben. It's a 20. <laughs> 20 total. Okay. Something and causes. I like clutching my book. It's comforting. Sure, okay. Something causes you to stop in your tracks. Um, <laughs> you can hear so many of. Vo you can hear a voice, okay? And you recognize the voice oh, because no. you've heard it before. Uh. It is Tataka's voice. Ugh! However, something about this situation makes it hard to understand what Tataka is saying because it's almost like he's having thousands of conversations at the same time. And so, like, imagine you're in a super crowded hall and you just kind of hear the noise of people talking. You can discern enough, you're perceptive enough to tell that it is Tataka. It's, they're all mimicking his pattern of speech. But because there's so many conversations happening at the same time, it's actually difficult to pick apart what any of them are saying. Whoa. Mm. Move, do you hear that? It, it sounds like a noisy tavern. I, who is that? Sounds like Tataka. Is there, a, is there an infinite number of Tatakas? I'm confused. Me too. Let's just keep going. All right, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and so you continue 
crawling. And you actually, so at this, so to kind of narrate your crawl, it's been kind of like a, like a cup or like a saucer. You've kind of went down at a slope and then you leveled out and you went straight. Okay. Mm. And then now you're climbing up a lip. Okay. Mm. So you're reaching a point. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> And you can see through some like holes, you're not exactly sure what is causing the holes, but you can see little streams of light and you've reached an end point. Whoa. I wanna peek through some of those holes. Um, you kind of try to peek through, but the, the, the slits are so narrow that it's hard to make out any discernible image. The only thing that is really coming through is bits of light. Got it. Hey, hey, Papa. Hmm. What do, what do you see? Uh, it's too small. I can't see anything. Just a little bit of light. A little bit of light? Hey, I think I got it. I, I think we're at another mouth. Pry, pry it open. Pry it open. All right. No. Oh, I like tea. Huh. I, um, try to bust through. What does that mean? Like, punch its teeth <laughs> out? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm going to... Punch and kind of like jab through one of the holes. So I'm trying to like stick my hand through a hole. Okay, wait. Are you trying to stick your hand through or are you trying to punch out? I'm going to try to stick my hand through and like see if I can gain any... You can get your hand bit off. Any uh, like spacing in the hole, you know what I mean? I get it. <laughs> like I get, foam, I you know? I can see it like in an, I can see myself doing that. Yeah, action. like I get what you're talking <sighs> about. Like... Yeah, I get it. I'm totally, I'm it, totally yeah. cool with it. I, I'm just because I, I, I envision like somebody's like trying to punch yeah. uh, their way out, or like trying yeah. to reach through, kind of reaching through and digging and clawing, scraping, out scraping, scraping. pulling. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're you're desperately lunging your hand forward, mm -hmm. and you're moving it all around, and you notice that when you move toward the bottom or the top, there's a very slight bit of give, like you feel it pressed down, like maybe a, a couple of millimeters, but not enough to make any real headway. Okay. What about left and right? There, it's it's like a solid wall on the left and right. It's really oh, just no top other and bottom. Way to go, so it's go. just top, this. Top and bottom. I mean, you could try to go back as well. Okay. Um, it, uh, now I want to go to hmm. Villiand and Zemnar, Palvin, and Kata. Okay? Um, and so you guys are obviously all focused on what is happening. Uh, mm -hmm. With Therese and teleportation <clears throat> and kind of the frantic stuff that's going on there. I want you guys to make a perception check and I'll make a perception check for. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Can you drop that in for. Oh, nice. <laughs> Kata. And 16! <laughs> 16 is Palvin's. <laughs> 12. What was Villian's? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, plus zero. So six for Villiant. Your perception is plus zero. Dude, black yeah. audio. And then negative one for oh. uh, black audio. Yeah. Uh, Palvin. Wait, what 15 was fifteen? 15 was Palvin. Palvin. So Palvin is actually the only one that notices this. Oh, you know what? I'm plus two on perception, which was eight. But yeah, you're right, Ian, because of wisdom. So you got ten total. Uh, no, eight, eight for Villiant, but fifteen for Palvin. Okay, so Palvin is the only one <laughs> in this room that notices this. Okay, I love when this happens. <laughs> Palvin turns his head, maybe because he's frightened, I don't know why, but for some reason he turns to the thing that uh, Moof and Pomper crawled through. The thing that uh, is, has its mouth pried open with the staff. Uh, you can tell, Palvin, that the, the, the thing, the whatever it is, is biting down. Uh -oh. And it's actually the, the staff is going through its lip. Uh -oh. So it's like it's piercing it. And it's still it's still managing to close its mouth, even though uh, the staff is piercing through its flesh. Are you doing sign language? So it connected two listeners. Uh, Ian was implying that when one mouth opens, <laughs> the other closes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Got two, it. Imagine two hand gestures that would really uh, help you out there. Um, the pincers. The mouth, the mouth is closing. The mouth is closing. Uh, flip around in a panic. 
You if, gotta hold it open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Zemnar, you try to rush. Yeah, it I'm gonna run over there. I'm gonna shove my hammer in its mouth. Nice. Okay. Uh, can I have you make a strength check? Oh, it's probably not very good. <laughs> no, on, you're on strength checks. You oh no, yeah, that's boosted, 18. dude. Yeah, yeah it's like just 400. kidding. Sorry, dude. Okay, it's so <laughs> yeah. you you take your hammer and you actually, through your own <laughs> brute force, you kind of angle it into the mouth and you prop it open and you're holding it and so it is still trying to close down okay so it's tra- taking tremendous focus and i'm effort. gonna let go of it though with my hand just keep okay. it snapped down so I chop my arm off good idea uh it seems like right now it is remaining open but the the entire creature is trembling okay it's trying it's still trying to close gotcha but for right now your efforts were successful all right they're safe <laughs> 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 Do you think this this creature is trying to consume them? Absolutely. It looks like a weird demon. <sighs> Shall I go in? No. Send Palvin. <laughs> <laughs> of course I won't send Palvin. He's small. He could fit in. He forgot how to do his magic. It's all right. We just need to get in and find Popper. He's not got any magic. I can do magic whenever I want. See, he's ready. <laughs> See, he's ready. It's a good test for him. He's got to learn to face the demon someday. I'm fairly concerned th- that I was incorrect and that is perhaps a one-way trap. Perha- yeah. Perhaps it is too late. Well, that's why we're holding it open. That won't stop this bo- this creature from digesting Pompa. Yeah, or at least they can run out we if, must, it gets, if it gets dicey. We must induce vomit. We must make this creature vomit. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh... Did you hit that little... Th- Hang it part in the back of the mouth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stinking cloud. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have a nose. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll use the spear. Uh, or you could use your... To, like, tickle the end of its throat. The uvula? Yeah, and beyond. I think, like, to induce vomit, a little further you gotta go back. A little uvula deeper. Yeah. and beyond. All right, so I'm gonna, gonna stand it. back. So, I mean, this is gonna, like, try to, like, tickle it to try to... Induce vomit Dude, you should, in the statue creature. You should coat the end of it with stinking cloud. I'm Does saving this, my stinking cloud. I don't know if it cloud. works like that. That's a gas. Yeah. <laughs> Just like an enchant. Stick it in the gas. I I think when you're you're planning things, there's a very natural tendency to be like, okay, here's this problem. Here's how I think like maybe they would go about it. You can't. You obviously can't. Uh, look for everything. It's just yeah, impossible. Yeah. There's no way. And you you also have to be aware of that. Uh, but it just it tickles me so much. <laughs> I'm like, yep, never, never thought that they would go there with that. <laughs> Induce vomiting yeah. in a statue yeah. creature. Wait, never, uh, never thought that. Uh, can I have you make a dexterity check? Oh yeah. What if the uh, the acid burns them? That's a three. Total? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. It's not working. <laughs> All right, so give it to me. I'll do it. <laughs> give it to me. Villian, Villian, here's what happens. Uh, you're you're trying to finagle around, trying to hit the specific point on the creature. Yeah. Uh, you miscalculate, and with a lot of vigor, you just stab upward. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't end up hitting the spot that you intend to, but it does cause a reaction in the creature. It causes it to close its mouth even tighter. Okay, and it ends up snapping completely. Ah. So the staff is sticking through its lips, and the hammer is somewhere inside of the creature. Oh, my hammer! <laughs> we gotta open it. That's mom's. That's mom. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. trying to pry it open with our bare hands. And yeah, and get caught in here too. We'll have Cut to. Like, All right. Pry it open. What's going on over there? <laughs> Got an emergency. Uh, can I have everyone who is trying to open the mouth <laughs> okay. roll a strength check, please? Oh, damn it. Is that a six? You need a nat 20. It's a Papa may be trapped in a digestive system. Which was a strength? Strength. Yeah. This is a strength yeah, check. Yeah, I can do that one. That's a, that's a 15. Okay. So is my staff okay? 15. Wait, did you, you got a 15? You got a 15? Mm-hmm. Kata also, well, I guess he had as a bonus to it, but he rolled a natural 15. Ooh. Oh. Um, 15? A natural 15? Not a boy. All right, so the buff boys are all on the mouth. <laughs> uh, I don't know how Palvin 
feels, but like Calvin tries. He like oh, okay, <laughs> like your little cousin who's trying to help lift a thing. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, I take notice. Ooh. Oh. Uh. So all the people Set in the up. room <laughs> are lifting, muscles just being strained to the max. Uh, you guys are able to pry open the mouth. <laughs> uh, Does baby oil fall from the ceiling and, and coat them all as their glistening, glistening muscles try to open this? If we hit the uvula, would again, you prefer yes. that that happen? <laughs> oh, of course. Then yes. <laughs> <laughs> all I wanted was a good smell. <laughs> Ian, Ian gets baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's the privilege of being the DM. Yeah. <laughs> what no, was that? We're all shiny. You don't. You don't <laughs> actually. You don't actually get baby oil. I was, just no, I was ready to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> what is I know. That's why I stopped. <laughs> I, I look fantastic. Yeah. No, it doesn't. We have to have some semblance of some no logic baby somewhere. Oil. Yeah, maybe you can grab your hammer quick. Yeah, I grab it. Quick as as I possibly can. I'm going in. No. <laughs> so no, don't do it. <laughs> Zemnar Zemnar takes one hand and quickly grabs yeah. the hammer. Are you going in? Going to try to dive in. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I have you make an acrobatics check? Yeah. Uh, I see him jumping in, so I also jump in. <laughs> <laughs> I need you both to make an acrobatics okay. check. Nothing but NPCs left in here. I got a seven. That's on that an one. eleven. <laughs> Seven. What'd you get? Eleven. You okay. get bit in half. So those were bad rolls. Yeah. Uh, so bad things unfortunately happen. Hey. Um, Villian, you are actually helped out by the fact that Zemnar uh, jumped in <laughs> after you. <laughs> if he did not decide to do this, this would be happening to you. Mm -hmm. um, but because he's Saved. coming in afterwards, it's happening to Big him. Bro. So you try to dive in, mm -hmm. but it's it's kind of an awkward jump. It, it just, you only get like halfway in, mm -hmm. and because the effort that you were using to keep the mouth open just suddenly vanishes, the mouth chomps down, mm -hmm. okay? It's ready to snap. <laughs> you lose but, <laughs> Zemnar jumps in right in after you, and so the timing of this works where he just kind of bumps you all the way in, but he doesn't get all the way in. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, the the mouth chomps down oh. and you end up losing your right foot. Oh. Whoa! Straight up loses a foot. Straight oh. up loses a foot. Ah. Kata also loses an arm. Oh! Kata tried to jump in too. No, Kata, Kata, Kata was snap. trying to hold it. Oh, trying to hold no. it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, villain! You idiot! What's happening? Kata lost arm. Pelvin shrieking. Just <laughs> 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 Pelvin, quiet. What's happening? Uh, uh, Could we hear him when we're in there, from that far away? If he's <laughs> screaming. <laughs> if, if sorry, if she's screaming, yes. Pelvin, Pelvin, stop screaming. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> they went inside the mouth. <laughs> Who did? Pelvin, this time not. Why? Why? To a stupid Kata. <laughs> what? Come break this door down! Kata is also obviously screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin, come break this door down! Which door? The, the door we're behind! I'm scared of the poison trees! I zapped all the poison, it's fine! I, I still see it! It's gone! Is it gone? No, it's still in the air. I it's still gone! See it. I still <laughs> it's <laughs> gone! Come save me! Damn it, Pelvin! Trees, come save me! Ugh. I go, come on, Doros, and I dimension Doros back in there. <laughs> burning <Okay>. another slot. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, before you leave, you notice that all of the gems that you oh, emptied no. from the bag of holding uh, are all, like vibrating against the base of the door okay. to the right. I, I, I say, that's not good, and then I blast us, or beam us back into that room. Okay, you dimension door back with one spell slot remaining. And I, I told them not to, but they jumped into the mouth to go save the, Pompa. I see the foot... <laughs> And yeah. Kata losing missing an <laughs> arm, and I'm just like, what the hell? I told happened? him, I told him not to. Why did everyone go in the mouth? They, could be, because it was starting to close, and they all love Pompa, and so they jumped in for Pompa. Pavan, Pavan, <laughs> can heal me, please? No, can no, heal, no. please? I can't. Heal Kata. I can't. Why not? Watch, Goodberry. 
<laughs> Damn it, Palvin! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it, it, it all we have right now. Rub Barry gets arm. I can't. The berries don't cut. I yell through the. <laughs> I yell through the shut mouth. <laughs> Eat the berry. I can't. No, I know. <laughs> He's wearing the stupid armor. <laughs> so I, know. No I, I grab Palvin and I say, Palvin, what? Palvin. What? I know you're scared right now, but Kata's gonna bleed out and die if you don't heal his arm. I, I can't. You went to Bard College. Think back to your training and do it. Uh, Pomper and Moof <laughs> hear... <laughs> Despite the fact that they're far away, they, they're, the screaming was loud enough that you hear cries. <laughs> Does the In mouth the on their end change at all? Does it do anything when this one shuts? Um, it gives a little bit more. It ah. seems a little bit slacker than it was before. Tadaka's minions must be coming. You're right. It's gonna be it's gonna be another one of those skulls. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. I take out my acid mace and I try to like Ooh. acid it. Ooh. It's a very good plan. That's good. <laughs> it's a very good plan. A lot of people pointed out, rightfully so, that uh, Pomper dropped the acid mace a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put up. You gotta. It's, I was what? holding on to it. What? Yeah. I didn't cross we're, it out here, though. Like, way back, like, when we were fighting the strange spider creatures in the in the mansion. Uh, oh, the contest yeah. that Casimir was doing. Oh, I didn't remember this at all. Oh I was God. so happy. It was such a good plan. But no, no, he still has it because he's used it since, and so we've... It's retcon. Retcon. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, he still got it. Retcon in our I'm favor. Sorry. He yeah. went back and un... And so, because I usually cross it out. Thing. Yeah. So, Huber, this is, this is a, a little bit of a tricky situation. <clears throat> Obviously, it's partly on me for not remembering that moment, but it is very hard for me to keep track of your guys' equipment. Definitely. So, yeah. if possible, anytime anything happens with any of your equipment, even if it seems minor, yeah. just try to take thorough notes of it. I did. I got rid of all the gems, right? Because I crossed it off. Yes. Okay. You got rid of all the gems. You're good on that. I take uh, my staff back. It's like oh. poking through the guy's mouth, right? I mean, so the mouth is, it's like lodged in there. It's not like you can just reach. I, I try to pull it. it. It is lodged pretty firmly in. Not the saying that you can, but right, it's right. going to take some effort. So you it's not, it's just not, not sticking not through strong. the lip anymore? What's that? It's not no, sticking it, no, it, it is. It's, it's sticking through the lip. Like it's like so through his head. Imagine, imagine you have this thing, right, like this. Mm -hmm. It is pierced through it. It's... It's so like it, stuck in so a skull. you can't pull it out easily. You can't pull it out easily. I'm not saying you can't pull it I'm out, but like it's not like... It stuck. Yeah. I'm like it wiggling would, it. It would you take pull it out. effort. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, not it's not enough. saying that you can't do it. Yeah. Would radiant damage do uh, anything on this thing? We'll find Huber, out we're going to... we're gonna Because because there was a... Oh, yeah. Acid. You, you used it, and we didn't correct it at that time. Okay. For now, you have your you have your acid mace. We're not going to strip that out. You went back in an after credits scene. Exactly. Game shark. like that, yeah. You should have stayed for after no, the credits. Yeah, it was, you guys uh, just didn't see that. Should have stayed for after the credits. Yeah. The the only on, he got the acid. It was the back. tabletop one shot. Yeah, you gotta watch those. <laughs> Ancillary media. The Ova. Yeah. <laughs> Ancillary media. Yeah. If you would have read the tabletop escapades novel, yeah. they should, you can only get it on phones. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Comicsology. <laughs> on Crunchy. It's just goofs. Uh, yeah, those aren't real. That's just goofs. There is, yeah, there's That's no, just goofs. There's no tabletop comic on Comixology. Not yet. There are tabletop comics yeah. made Some by very people. excellent ones, might I add. Okay. So you are going to try to use the acid to yes. burn it through. Burn it alive. Okay. So you are able to just lightly tip the mace downward, and the acid comes out drip by drip. Drip, drip. Um, and you notice that it's actually burning away the mouth of this thing. Uh, and so it's just kind of becoming this grotesque, squishy, like, blackened flesh that is just falling to the ground. And so there is a hole at the bottom. That probably smells the pretty bad, The top is right? still <laughs> intact. Uh, <coughs> so we jump. I jump down. <laughs> smells like lilac and gooseberries. What's up? I jump down. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I jump through the hole. If you would like to, you yeah. can jump through the hole. Yeah. Okay. So you plop down. Uh... The only thing that wasn't accounted for is that you are falling directly to where the acid was going, ah. and so you are kind of falling into your own acid. Okay. So you are going to take some acid damage. Okay. Sure. my life. Uh, I need to re-roll that. Use the loaded ones. 
<laughs> it like fell off to the edge. It here's what happened. Full disclosure: it fell off to like the edge, and then I couldn't I couldn't keep track of where one of them went. So I need to roll it in a clear spot. Okay, you take nine damage. Dude, easy. Yeah, easy. What helped you is like also. I mean, it, I just decided to roll three d six, but also, uh, you know, it, the acid keeps burning through the ground as well. Cool. Move. Be careful. There's acid down here. <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> how about uh, how about you catch me so I don't land in whatever puddle you made? All right, I got you. Okay. Uh, so Moof plops down. Uh, can I have you make a strength check to make sure you catch her? It's like a you're fine. Twenty, yeah. Yeah, 20. you're good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so you're holding Moof. Uh, and you look, and this is actually, there's no enemies in this room. Oh. And you can tell that immediately. However, there is another bed, like the one that you saw Whoa. in the room that you were last in. But... I immediately check under the bed. No, it, I mean, it's not... It's like, <laughs> It's like a pedestal. It yeah. freaks me out, dude. I want to make check sure there's the no bed. monsters check under the bed. Check under the bed. under the bed. Uh, okay, there is there is no under the bed, okay. so, but oh. there's also not to be to okay. be considerate to you. There is also nothing under the pedestal. Okay, there is nothing high. <laughs> Safe. Yeah, yeah. should have put a few coins in there. Yeah. Just to avoid a reward. <laughs> okay, you collect two gold. <laughs> Work it down. Um, so there is there is a pedestal. Uh, there is something lying on the slab of the pedestal. It is still encased in glass. However, there is no pendulum. There is no mm. crank, mm. but embedded into the wall. So it's like, imagine that it's kind of carved out. You see clearly separated by a vertical line, four like handprints in the wall, like places where you could stick both of your hands. Okay, there's four of them. Oh God, hogger flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm sorry, are there tubes coming out of the bed? Yes, there is a tube coming out of the bed, uh, kind of actually leading in the direction that they crawled from. Okay. So it's it's leading back toward the Tataka voices. <clears throat> yes, correct. That is that is a good way of saying that. And this one has stuff flowing through it, like the other one did before we deactivated it. It does. Yes, it has the blue yeah. stuff, the blue liquid flowing through it. Time to solve the puzzle, Huber. <laughs> it's all you, baby. I uh, smashed the tube. <gasps> Huh. Uh, but <laughs> before you do that, poof, Moof, I said poof, Moof goes, this is comfortable and all, but could you let me down? Sure. You set Moof down. I'm uh, sad. Because he used to ride on my shoulder back in the day. <laughs> before you squished him. Do you convey that to Moof? I... It's passive aggressive. I look sad, so he sees me looking sad. <laughs> Classic pomper power play. <laughs> <laughs> He's like pouting. He's like metaphysical death prison. And Noof has no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, From a, a past life in why another so universe. <laughs> it, is something wrong? Are you wounded? You mean to patch you up? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. You just we need your head in the game. This is a pretty dire situation, all right? <laughs> yeah. This tube, what do you think? Should we smash it? <laughs> <laughs> we should look and see what's inside of it first. Okay. You think it's another Tiger Man? I don't know. Can we look inside? Yes. Cool. Uh, so you can go over and you can easily look inside. Um, and it is a very similar setup to what you saw before. However, um, the last Tataki that you saw was in this this weird kind of outfit, like made of what looked like kind of like glass. This Tataka is also in an outfit, uh, but this outfit seems to be entirely made of fire. Whoa. However, the fire is not burning Tataka. Whoa. It seems to be purely. Aries. It seems to be purely <laughs> decorative. God of war. Four Tatakas. Um. Hey, why isn't uh, he? Getting charred up right now. I don't know. He's really <laughs> strong. 
Uh-huh. That was a pleasant thing. Whose was that? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> mine's in the other room. I swear I don't turn it on. Yeah, I think mine's in the other room. Two weeks in a row with Can this. I uh, dump acid on this thing? You can. Whoa. Right on the face. Right where his face is. So you choose to uh, dump acid on the what looks like kind of this this glass like surface. Mm-hmm. It actually just like water rolls off the side and onto the ground, mm-hmm. and it starts burning the ground, but it has oh. no effect on the this surface that's protecting Tataka. Must be some kind of magic. <laughs> that would be my guess. <laughs> these uh, <laughs> these hand slots. This doesn't seem. This is just. I, I doubt we're going to be able to stick our hands in there, and the whole problem will be solved. I bet it's some kind of trap. Yeah. I was. Uh, I was never very good at puzzles. Me too, Move. What do you say we spring this trap? What do you got in mind? Put our hands in. And <laughs> get ready for a fight. <laughs> just like old times, Move. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna take this opportunity <laughs> before we spring the trap to go to injured Zemnar oh, okay. and saved Villian. Why are you yelling, Zemnar? I lost my foot. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Got chopped off. You gotta heal me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. I can do some healing. I can't grow a foot back. It's okay. Either. I have nothing to grow for that. You can't? Uh, so, kind of the situation that I described to uh, Pomper and Moof, Villiand, uh, something to keep in mind, is that it it would be very difficult for you to, like, turn around and, like, touch or, or really get a good look at Zemnar. Like, you're kind of just, based on how much you're being constricted, your eyes are kind of locked forward. And, like, you can turn your head back a little bit, but it's going to be hard for you to kind of completely do a 180 mm. with your body. Because we're covered in goo. Well, you're just being constricted by this throat. Uh, yeah, with cure wounds, I do have to touch you. I'll try. I'll, ri- I'll try reaching. I'll you reach can, out, Yeah, too. you can, like, reach back if you want. Mm-hmm. I'll reach out, too. Okay. So hopefully our hands will touch. The only way I can grow it back is if you die. Then I res you. Dude, I'll just get a sick peg leg or something. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd like, I would die. Just like, well, I don't know. I, th- I guess I'd be too scared to never come back. What if you fail to revive yeah. me? Totally. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking up something real quick. If you could just fill a little bit of time. Flat, ah! Flatliners. Ah! Uh, I'm going to check on you. Ah! You okay, Villian? Yes, we have to hurry to Pompa. Okay. But your foot comes first. All right, so there is a level 7 spell called Regenerate. Regenerate. Uh, if I'm looking at the right thing. I just pull. I just did this on Chrome, Regenerate. so... Yeah. Yes, this you could prep it. You Next time you rest, you can Next prep that. Bard, cleric, and druids have this. That? The target's severed body that? members, fingers, legs, tails, and so on, if any, are restored after two minutes. Oh, oh two minutes. Okay. Oh. Get uh, a peg leg. So much for that. But what we'll have cure wounds do is we'll have it so the wound isn't bleeding. Yeah. Cool. Touch hands, right? Or oh. cure wounds? Cure wounds. Oh, oh, oh. So they he's had reach- to touch. Oh, oh, Yeah, he's like reaching out. Mm-hmm. Um, and all I can do is 12 HP for that heal as well. That's okay. I'll take it. Zemnar is reaching St- forward. Your hands eventually legs. find each other in the darkness. Brother. Grab his you. hand tight. I have you. Do it. Kill wounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it all my leg or is it uh, to my knee? It's just your. It's just my your ankle. Foot? Yeah, it's okay. just it like bit your ankle. Cool. And chomped down. <clears throat> so you still have your leg. Okay. Brutal, dude. Get like a shoe attachment for it. Um, <laughs> your your leg is still throbbing, but you feel <sighs> like you're able to move at least. <sighs> Get Tataka to send us to Mechanis. Help me up real quick. Villain, you gotta be more careful from now on. You would have died. <laughs> I thought you would stay behind and protect Palavin. No, you fool. <laughs> if anyone's gonna die first, it's me. Aww. You got more to live for. You have a family. <laughs> You'll be okay without me. <laughs> you don't know what I've done. <laughs> they would be proud to know what you have done. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, we must find Papa. All right. 
So you gotta help me. Trudging through the sludge. Okay. You guys sludge continue to trudge. move. Sludge trudge. Sludge trudge. Um, that was a nice moment, uh, especially considering the circumstances. Um, Zemnar and Villian, I do have good news. It just smells like home. Mm. <laughs> Are you saying our home stunk? Our home <laughs> smelled <laughs> terrible. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. Our dad, I was trying to give you. My dad was up to some nasty <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. I was yeah. trying to give you a good smell. I was <laughs> not. My mom trying. was always killing monsters. <laughs> yeah. The baby right. oil makes it what, very what easy. What do you to go like? What smells, smells like good to flesh. Is, what smells good to Villian and Zemnar? Cinnamon rolls. What? Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. It smells like cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Juicy hot cinnamon buns. Yo. I bet nobody could resist that smell. It smells. smells like the ones mom used to make. Is that a box peak yeah, reference? I'm doing box peak references. Yep. Check it out on Easy Alley. <laughs> 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 uh, episode tri- three, check it out. <laughs> it's very good. Oh, that's episode four. Pardon me, episode four. Anybody you else? Ass. Any other plugs we want to do real quick? <clears throat> check out No Redemption, my musical western. <laughs> it's better than box peak. <laughs> It's not. Check out Halloween streams. Check out Tabletop Escapades <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesdays. <laughs> Check out Gotham for Huber. <laughs> for Huber. Shout there out to go. Gotham. Final Three more season. episodes. Final season. Three more. <clears throat> Sometimes I don't know if people realize that we're just joking around. Check out Mysterious Monsters. Surprisingly <laughs> few. Surprisingly few. <laughs> we're just joking around. Okay. So you guys trudge on. Um, <clears throat> Villain, you're in the front. Uh, you eventually get to the point where Pomper Stop had burned messing. the bottom half of the mouth out. Uh, I see light. You don't. You notice that there's also like a pretty deep burn into the ground, but you can't tell <coughs> what caused it. We there's there's an end to this tunnel, just as I suspected. All right. You hear Villian's voice very <coughs> close to you, Pomper. Hey, we're down here. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, you're fine. Yeah, we're fine. What's up with you? I thought you were to talk as minions. The mouth closed. Yeah, I lost my foot. And what do you mean, minions? Yeah, I heard, we heard yelling. We thought it was enemies. Of course not. It is me, Valiant. Well, come on down. We, Moof and I are stumped. We don't like puzzles. <laughs> Zemna and I love puzzles. We'll be right there. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> So I guess <laughs> Villain and Zemnar flop to the ground. Yeah, help me down. Yeah, Papa, I lost my foot. Help me. We got it, Papa. You, you, you heal, right? Yeah, but I can't regenerate limbs. I would need to. I would need. To Haven't you regenerated your own limbs? Yes, I, several I see times. It. You have a dragonborn arm and a dragonborn leg. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Moof wouldn't know that in yeah. this context. Do this I again. Resist. Yeah. <laughs> but Spelling didn't you it get out. Them done before? Yeah, it was. Yeah, a, it's a power I, I don't understand. I I can't do it. So I'm not. I'm sorry. It's all right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hear me out. Okay. Mm-hmm. One, I'm not good at puzzles. Two, I'm not good at gods and stuff, but I know this for a fact, okay? You guys, you follow Lingua, Lingua is here, that's been said many times. Maybe you reach out to Lingua, <clears throat> something will happen, I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's like a demon Lingua though, right? <laughs> yeah, it seems to be a false Lingua, our Lingua is very kind. But, uh, you know. And not creepy. You know, it couldn't hurt trying though. <laughs> Kinda missed my foot. <laughs> You hear uh, Moof like smell smelling like very deliberately. He goes, "You guys smell uh, sweet. What is that? Juicy hot cinnamon buns. <laughs> <laughs> Just like <Juicy> home. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got a Tataka thing in here. It's it's covered in fire, and uh, yeah, we don't know what to do. There are these hand." Markings on the wall. Yeah, so last time we uh, we had to pull a crank that would uh, open the glass for certain periods of time. I was not good with the timing. I accidentally burned your move. I apologize. <laughs> I thought that perhaps this would be the only Tataka. Clearly, there are more than one. We've all uh, we've all <laughs> taken some some damage here. And he uh, looks at Zemna. <laughs> I quietly pray to Lingua oh. to restore my foot. Nice. Okay. Uh, could you just for the sake of context elaborate? When they're on all the talking, I'd get down on my knees. <laughs> when they're all talking, Lagua, 
I know I've done evil in this <laughs> world. <laughs> but it's too early for me to slow down. I gotta set it right. Help me get there. Bring my foot back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a country song. He's injured. <clears throat> okay, so Brad is Brad is praying to Lingua. Noted. I think we should all put our hands on uh, these symbols. Before you do that, have you checked under the bed? <laughs> First thing I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, good, Pompa, good. Is there a closet in here? Is there what a closet? Do you think you yeah, are? Is a bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a kind of a bedroom. Yeah, like there is a not a apartment. <laughs> a bedroom a apartment. Monster there is. There is not a closet. Okay. I was a little overwhelmed with descriptions. So there, there is one other thing that I should point your attention to. There is a door <laughs> to the left uh, that is very similar. The to only the other door, right? Uh, there's actually a door to the left of you uh -huh. from your position. I just assume that you guys like plop down and are kind of looking north. So imagine yeah. you're in the square room. Uh -huh. You're at the bottom of the square. There's a door behind you. Okay. And Wait, not door. the tunnel we just came out of. Not the tunnel. You, gotcha. So the, the tunnel is actually like in the corner of the room. Cool, cool. So the uh, the door is at the south of the square, like kind of in the center of the square at the bottom. And then the other door is to the left, on the left side of the square in the center. And no creepy man in a chair, right? No. Um, right. So the, just to kind of have this make sense, the old man that you saw transformed into the thing that you crawled through. Right. Mm -hmm. It on this other side it has just taken that form great. there is no old man great 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 old <clears throat> toothy wait so you think we should all put our hands in at the same time yeah uh so tell us about the hand prints does it seem mechanical or does it seem magic <clears throat> and are they like holes yeah um would you like to get closer to inspect yeah i'll do hands. a little investigation okay so Ooh, not 20 investigation! Ooh. Ooh. I love puzzles, here I go! Okay. <laughs> here I go! Me. So you go over and you <laughs> meticulously investigate yeah. each of the handprints. You notice that the handprints are quite large, larger than um, that of the average human, okay? So they're large. Um, you also notice that the handprints are identical in size and like how far apart they are. Uh, that seems very deliberate, how, how close they are all to each other. Um, the other thing is, uh, so, okay, like this is one set of handprints. A left and a right. Yep. So there's a, there's a slit on each. So there's a slit uh, next to the left hand, uh, and there's a slit next to the right hand. It's probably about two, two and a half inches long, uh, maybe an inch wide, just enough for something to shoot through. Oh, nice. And that's only on one set of hands. No, it, sorry. It is on each set of hands on identically. The, on ah. the outside of each pair of hands. Yeah, so to yeah. the side of each pair the of hands. The so one on the left side. Yeah, exactly. Uh, from uh, what I understand of traps, pomp and move, uh, these slits may uh, <clears throat> shoot some sort of shuriken at us <laughs> if we uh, p do in the incorrect order. Is what I suspect the hands are for. Good thing you're here. I would have got blasted. Yes. So I will lie on the I will lie on the ground, and very carefully watch carefully as I put my hand onto this spot here. So I want to uh, just lie on the ground on my back and reach up and very carefully slide my arm up and try to hit one of the hands. Okay, are you trying to, like, <clears throat> like it, let's say you lift your left hand up, are you trying to match the left hand? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you lie down on the ground and you cautiously reach up in an effort to avoid any possible shurikens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you place your left hand, let's just say for the sake of convenience, that you're doing this on the leftmost set. Mm -hmm. You place your hand on <clears throat> and no shurikens pop out. But the second that your hand gets squarely within the print, uh, like, oh. uh, uh, like a bar kind of oh. comes out and wraps around the other side and traps your hand <laughs> in there. Uh -oh. Actually, mm. <laughs> oh. I made a minor mistake, so let's modify 
this a little bit. Uh, in order for this to work, in order for this puzzle to work, let's say that there's a slit around each. So there's like three. So there's one on the left, mm -hmm. there's one in between the hands, and then there's one yeah. to the yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> God! You're not in any pain. It's a, it's a strap trap. A classic <laughs> strap trap. <laughs> how do we get you out? What do we do? The only way out is to solve the puzzle. Well, how do we solve it? More hands. <laughs> so <laughs> he's going to try. Can he reach to a different set of hands, or is he stuck with this one if he wants to try to put another hand in? Um, it's actually close enough that you could try to reach the other one. All right. So, yeah, he'll try to reach to another set of hands, put his right. So, actually, nothing happens. There's no response. There's no strap that shoots out to lock Great. you in. Good, 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 good. Move. I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need your hands. Happy to give them to you. <laughs> Wait, I don't know, Move. Let me do it. Pompey, you're too young. Pompey, it's, it's in times like these that we have to be honest with ourselves. And for as much as hardships as I've been through and as many things as I've fought with Potbelly, I'm just not as useful in combat as you are. If someone's going to get sacrificed, it might as well be me. It's too bad poor Villian already got trapped. <laughs> Dang. All right, be careful. Okay. Take your pick, Moof. I haven't deciphered any sort of pattern yet. <clears throat> oh, but don't, uh, just curious, don't do the one to the left of my right hand. Don't do that one. Don't do the one right next to you? Right. Okay. So Moof goes, so you're, you're uh, at the leftmost one. And another one besides the leftmost one, right, too? Yeah, yeah which, but which you're not strapped you? in. Right, 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 right. So you're you're like you're like this spread like out. twister yeah on yeah. each on the two ends, far most left and far most right. Because if you're so putting your one imagine right imagine one there's that. imagine there's four hands. He put his on the leftmost one and then on the rightmost one. Right. That's, okay. That's, that's what yeah. I was So Moof has to like creep up under him. Yeah. Well, well, Moof goes to the third set. Okay, mm -hmm. the th left third set from the left. Um, and he puts both of his hands in at the Not same time. Not both at once, move! No! Oh, and he stops. <laughs> and he goes, wait, wait, just one? One at a time, move. So well, he, actually, could move. He doesn't have the wingspan that Villian has, does he? No. His, so he his can't span, do two at once anyway. His span is... Yeah, is, yeah. Okay. He can do two at once. Well, they're right next to each other. They're he, pairs, right? If So just to clarify, just because move has a shorter reach when he spreads out like this... If one of his hands were to get trapped, he couldn't reach the one on the right, the mm. same way the villain can. Oh. Villain has a little bit more. Are they on like opposing length. walls or something? I think it's four no, sets no, no. of hands, it's right? It's four sets of hands. Oh, four four, set, four yeah. sets of four pairs. Four pairs, yep. But it's left, right, left, right, left, yep. right, right? Yep. yep. But they're far enough apart that he couldn't reach them. Right. Oh, okay, okay. A, another, a, a, an average human person could, like Villain oh, okay, okay, could, okay. but Moof just... I was picturing them like, like this, like right next I to get, each other. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It yeah, is yeah. is a little bit hard to visualize, so but... like three feet apart. Moof, Moof is the only one that can't quite get it with sure. the way that his body is structured. We should have tried to grab Kata's arm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just we stuck in the top of that mouth right now. Well, it's like on the other side, right? Yeah. With my foot. <laughs> okay, oh, so, man. so Moof stops moving <laughs> both of his hands into the, into the slots. And he goes, wait, you, you want me to just do one? No, 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 you're right. Your instinct is right. Let's see what happens. So Moof puts both of his hands in at the same time. Both of his hands get strapped in. And you see a spark uh. erupt. It seems like Moof's entire body is being shocked. Uh. And he's just going, do, 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 <laughs> do something! Do something! Help! Like, home alone, dude. Uh. Papa, quick, press the other hand. I do it. <laughs> I push so him. you do it? Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> do you do the ones that are to the right of move? I don't know. Y do you just go? Go react. Go okay. react. Like There's immediate. only one set left untouched. Basically. Okay, yeah, yeah. I do that. Yeah. I do that then. So the same thing happens to you. <laughs> the, uh, the, the hands get strapped in. And you feel intense pain. There's a shot going through your entire body. <gasps> Zemna, stop praying! Zemna, we need your hands. Yes. But, but Moof says, ah, this this feels a little better. Ah! 
Send that quickly. I, I, I hobble my way over there. <laughs> um, do you like jump on your one foot? Do you crawl? How do you I crawl? Move? Okay, you crawl. So that's a pretty reliable method yeah. to get there. It's also hilariously slow. Mm-hmm. And so your friends are Sam screaming Sam in pain Sam as you are crawling over. <laughs> it's a strap <laughs> trap. It's a strap trap. All right. A throw. What hand is your, of yours is locked? So my right hand is good. So put your left hand where my right hand is. Okay. That's the one that like did not get locked in. Okay. Wait, oh. wait, wait. Hold on. I'm a little bit confused with what's happening. Left hand got strapped in. Yes. Right hand is on a separate set of hands. Yes. So, so your I'm, right hand is in the second set, but, but it's free. But it's free. Yes. In so, order for in order for Zeminar to put his hands in, you would have to move your yeah, hand. Yeah, put oh, your hand okay. in the right one. All right, fine. Then I'll put mine two on there. Yeah. Like the rest yeah. of them. Okay. Either you're all gonna die, or that's. I'll, the you know what? Song. Instead of putting it in, though, I'll just let go of that one and let Zemnar put his hands in that one. Okay. Okay. Before I put both in the one that's already strapped. So Zemnar puts Stra- puts trap. his hands in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Much like with Pomper and Moo. Oh my god. Uh, you feel the intense shock. Ah! Pomper, Pomper, what you notice is that it, it, it's a little bit less painful. It's still intense pain, but it's a little bit less painful. I tell uh, uh, Villian, put your hand in. Okay. <laughs> so Villian puts his last hand in. Okay. Villian, like the others, you feel intense pain. <laughs> so we're just four guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're all strapped in. <laughs> The good news is that after about an additional minute, <laughs> oh, God. all the straps unlock and the glass opens. Oh. You all take 25 damage. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. But now we get, I'm going to smash that body. Smash it. Smash it. Smash and it. It's just an endurance trap. That is where we are going uh, to end the episode. Oh. Will it be successful in destroying the flame wreath Tataka? <laughs> what will happen with the gems? Is, there any is way for, Kata okay? <laughs> is there any way for one last in the moment lore question? Absolutely. Towards uh, Villian? Villian. You're getting electrocuted. No, but no, they stopped. Oh, okay. Villian, when you seem to know about these strap traps, what was the last time you encountered one? Never in my life, but I learned about them. At the monasteries. <laughs> One of my favorite studies was traps. Interesting. Like father, like son, <laughs> I guess. See you next time. <laughs>